top of the world has visitor homes to stay in while you do a three-day, two-night world tour adventure, right? Have you wondered where they are and what they look like? I mean, after all, you are going to be away from home in your comfy bed for two nights. As we take this long look down our beautiful street with our 12 visitor homes, you get a real sense of neighborhood. In fact, you almost expect to see Wally and the Beaver walking down the street. These impeccably cleaned and thoughtfully appointed guest homes, each with two bedrooms, two baths, and two car garages, will give you that perfect, comfortable, and cozy space for pondering what could be. And you'll also have your very own golf cart to travel the community, say hello to our friendly residents, ask questions, and get the feel of our active and fun lifestyle. Let's meet a few of the World Tour Ambassadors. Just like you, they came to visit on top of the world, did the three-day stay, and then decided to purchase. Now, they even work with us. I know that you'll enjoy their stories. Let's meet Patrick with Cooper and Casey, say hello to Donna, and we'll hear from Joanne. My husband and I have always come to Florida, usually in February when it's so cold up in northern Indiana that you just can't hardly walk outside with your nose freezing. Um, so we were in St. Augustine for two weeks and um, we actually visited the largest 55 plus community in Florida because we'd heard so much about it and we liked it. We thought it was beautiful and well, well kept. And so the idea of 55 plus had been new to us and we liked what we saw there. So when, so when we got home um, mid-February, my husband walked out our long drive um, to get the mail. He came back in, he had fallen, he was brushing himself off and he goes, you know, we've never talked about moving to Florida because we'd love to visit it but I think we should start looking around. So um, that was probably, that was the end of February. And he started doing online um, investigation because that's what he loved to do. He'd worked for IBM. And um, so he said, oh, here's some good ones. And he, we thought we wanted Central Florida instead of to be on the coastline because we had friends that live in Jacksonville and Bonita Springs and um, Boca Raton but we just thought we wanted to be in Central Florida for a lot of reasons, hurricanes, um, um, taxes, the congestion. So he said, here's something called on top of the world. And I said, you know, I thought when we were driving up 75, we'd seen those billboards and I just looked at that and thought, well, that's an odd name. <laughs> so, so we came down and we um, booked, it was Mother's Day and, um, 2015 so this was one of our stops and we looked at five places and um, this was our second second stop and um, Lorette took us on the tour and the program was fairly new in 2015 but when we met her and she was so warm and friendly and she laughed a lot she made us feel so comfortable and um, we just remembered how friendly everybody was and how much there was to do and um, there was a craft sale going on that was a Tuesday there's also a farmers market that goes on and my husband was very interested in remote control flying he'd done that since he was 14 years old and they had a beautiful big RC field and um, he had uh, met someone on the phone. He had talked to someone on the phone about it and had told him all about it. There was already like 130 members from all over the country and even two people that live out of the country, the snowbird here, that are in the RC club. So we had some, some good connections. I knew he really was impressed with that. But um, on our tour we saw the, um, all the beautiful facilities, um, people having fun, walking, playing golf, um, there was just there's just so much to do here that um, if you're ever bored it's your it's your fault um, so when we got to our guest home there was a golf hold two days after we listed it so we were going like oh no what are we going to do now um lot and that that was okay um, we chose um, an inside lot instead of a golf course lot. And the houses are so well constructed that it's, it's okay. We don't hear the neighbor noises and it's, um, it's a good place to live. When we started 
living here. Um, actually, we rented for six months and got to know the, the people and how friendly they were and how much we enjoyed having a golf cart as our second car. And um, so when we, I couldn't wait to live here. So when we got back, when we finally got our house sold, we had um, decided to rent here for six months. And that, that turned out really good. So they have six month rentals and nothing shorter. And that feels more secure not to have people, transient people coming in and out that can stay for a week or longer. So um, that's what happened. And uh, we kind of watched our house being built and we were real pleased with the quality, the um, subcontractors that On Top of the World uses. And uh, when we finally moved in, um, our new house and moving from the rental to our new house. It was interesting because I'd made friends with somebody that worked in um, the uh, model home center. And I didn't know she did this at the time, but she had like a dozen flamingos up the walk. And I'm going, who the heck did this? But it was, it was just a nice welcome. And uh, made friends with the neighbors. I've, um, I, with the, a couple other people, we've started a monthly potluck and that's, that's just worked out good. Um, I, I did unfortunately lose my husband. We'd been here um, five years last September, and it was in September, early September, Labor Day weekend that I did lose him. So I am a widow now, and I'm doing very well with that, actually, because of the um, friendliness of the community. I felt embraced by my neighbors and everyone that I work with, and I do work for the world tour. Um, wonderful people to work with and um, I'm just feeling loved. I'm not really mourning the way I thought I might mourn because I think I'm feeling so embraced and so cared for and uh, looked after. I hope you get a chance to visit On Top of the World. You'll be warmly welcomed and you'll be so glad you did.